Many viewers have asked me about VLG. So this fall, I increased the lighting in my tank to grow it. Although it's not as thick as what I had in spring, but after comparing different setups, I believe I have found the most important factor for growing green algae, light. We often hear that algae need light, water flow, and a balance of nitrogen and the phosphorus. But from a practical point of view, there are really only three things you need. Light, water quality, and the temperature. Light. All plants, including algae, need light as their energy source. If your tank is outdoors, you might not need this video at all, because sunlight is the best light source. With direct sunlight, algae grow very quickly. For indoor tanks, it becomes much harder if your light source isn't strong enough. Green algae usually prefer a cold temperature close to 8000K. But most commercial aquarium lights already meet this requirement. Anything 6500K and above works fine. The second key is voltage. The stronger the light, the shorter the required lighting time. For a high powered light, 6 to 8 hours a day may be enough. But with the weaker light, you may need 10 plus hours per day. This is where many people fail. Most of us who work full time only have 6 to 8 hours to keep the light on after coming home. If the voltage is too low, LG simply won't appear. Over time, if your fish gets sick and you add medication or salt, water quality fluctuates and it becomes even harder for LG to grow. So, if you still want to grow green LG after watching this video, check your current light voltage and your daily light duration. Adjust one or both and the LG should appear fairly soon. Water depth also affects light penetration. If your goal is to grow LG on the bottom of the tank, you may need even more power or longer lighting. For those who already have brown LJ, congratulations! Your water quality and the lighting are already suitable for LJ growth. Brown LJ simply means your lighting time is not enough. Remove the brown LJ and increase light intensity or duration, and the green LJ will flow. 2. Water quality If you just start keeping fish, I recommend focusing on keeping your goldfish healthy first. Let them live at least 3 months with stable feeding before worrying about LJ. Without an established nitrification system, strong lighting can easily turn your tank into green water. That's because without nitrifying bacteria, ammonia and inorganic nutrients build up and trigger various planktonic LJ blooms. Also note, medication and salt kill LJ. Chemical field media and UV sterilizer kill LJ spawns. Surface film or any cover on the water blocks light. So only a tank with stable, healthy fish can truly grow good LJ. Don't mix up the priorities. And yes, shrimp and snails eat LJ, so be aware. Some people ask if they need to dose nitrate as fertilizer. In my opinion, no need. Here is the bucket I use to store fresh water. No added organics, yet you can still see green and brown algae forming naturally. 3. Temperature The ideal temperature range for algae growth is 20 to 28 degrees Celsius. But LG can still survive normally between 15 to 33 degrees Celsius. Even though people call it the green current, LG also trap debris. If you see LG aging, make sure to clean it in time.
since winter is arriving here, and the water temperature will soon drop below 15 degrees Celsius. My goldfish will enter dormancy. When algae weaken or die in cold water, they can harbor bacteria. So I will scrub the algae before winter to keep the tank clean. Somewhere, one, before growing green algae, make sure your goldfish are healthy and your nitrification system is stable. Fish should be surviving for at least three months with consistent feeding. Two, based on your tank depth, choose a proper full spectrum light or sunlight. Keep lights on six to 10 hours per day and be patient. Depending on intensity, LG usually appear within one to three weeks. Three, remove chemical filter media, UV sterilizer, and LG eating shrimp and snails. Four, if you see brown LG, you are halfway there. Wipe it off and increase light intensity or duration. 5. Once green algae fully cover the tank, reduce lighting time. Too much light will speed up algae growth and shorten its lifespan. 6. Done. That's all for today's video. Next spring, I will grow a proper green carpenter again and document the entire process. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Bye bye.